Hey, great to have you back in the channel. Today I have something special for you. We're going to look at Excel and how to use Excel formulas to backtest your trading system ideas historically. So I'm going to show you step by step how you can create these formulas and then you can go and study them on your own and learn more and really create, create some great trading systems for yourself. First of all, please do remember that we don't provide any investment advice and all the material is made available for educational and marketing purposes only. And please remember to subscribe to the channel. That would be a great help. Thank you. So the trading strategy I'm looking to test here is a momentum long only strategy that looks for those moments when the uptrending market is resuming the upside momentum after a short a retracement. So I'm defining the uptrend as a period where I have the yellow moving average above the blue. So it's 15 periods moving average above the 20 periods. And then I'm looking for points where the there is a red candle followed by a green candle and the moving average is point higher. So simply those are the rules for the trading strategy that we are going to test now. So obviously you will need some data in order to practice this. So you can go to TO Markets MT4 and go to Tools and then History Center. Look for Oil and then the daily time frame data. And once this is populated here, you go to Export and Save the File in the folder that you want. So I have a video folder for this presentation here and I save the file there. Next we go to the folder in question and open it in Excel or alternatively you can use some other program like OpenOffice, LibreOffice or go to Google Sheets. As you can see there are no headings included so you need to add those in, just insert one line there. And if you go to go to MT4, you can see that we have open, high, low and close and then volume. It is close and volume. So now we are ready to test this with the Excel and I have something prepared for you already, so I'm going to actually go to that file. But I just wanted to show you that you can actually do this in MT4 and you get the data for free. If you have access to TradingView, then the data retrieval is a little different. Here you can have the moving averages in place already. And if you scroll back to data, uh, and here are the trading signals that I was referring to earlier, but if you keep on scrolling back the data, you can get more and more data. And I think this goes all the way back to 1950s and maybe even further. But that data is hardly relevant nowadays. So maybe maximum to sort of 2008 or, or year 2000 even. And then you go to this little uh, menu here and you choose export chart data it'll uh, be unix time time stamped but i'm going to show you how to create a proper date for your your file so that you can read the dates as well then you just click export and the data will be saved in your downloads folder the data i'm using here is us all daily price data from 1989 to 2023 with 8685 observations and this data includes 4,433 up days and 4,252 down days. As you can see, they are pretty much evenly distributed. So in order to get an, an edge in this market, we need to concentrate on periods when the market is moving higher in a trend. So I'm defining the uptrend as we already uh, went through the rules earlier but just quickly if you want to have a screenshot of this you can you can basically have the rules here and then we can go and look at the data so when you download the data from trading you the data will be with timestamps that known as unix time stamps 
which really don't make any sense before we use Excel to make sense out of this data. So what you need to do is to add another column, which I have already done here. And this will be your sort of proper date column. And this is the formula you will need. So you need to divide what's in this cell by 86400 and then add this Excel formula called date and then the starting date of 1970, comma one, comma one, and you close the brackets. You can take a screenshot of this now if you prefer so, or you can come back to this video later on. But basically, this is what you have to do, and you get another series of numbers. But then you have to go and turn this into short dates in Excel. So you basically format the cells and then once they are short dates, they will be in, you know, proper date format that we can read. We don't need those for this study, but I just wanted to show this to you so that you understand how to do this. So let's go through the structure of the data quickly. We have open, high, low and close. And then we have moving averages, the slow and the fast. So when you get the trading view data, you have the, you get the data for any indicators that you have on the charts. Then I have added these columns here and I'm going to explain them in a moment, but they basically are our test. And this is the most important part of this video. So you might want to make notes or take screenshots as we go through these columns, because this is the really the beef of this video. This shows you how you can backtest your trading system ideas and get meaningful results on sort of what's in the data and whether it makes sense to work more on those trading strategy ideas. And yeah, without further ado, let's dive in. So the way this works in this column J, we have either zeros or ones. And if we have a one there, that means that we have a long entry or buy signal there. If there are zeros, there's no buy signal at all. So that's the first stage. And I'm going to go through the rules that the very same rules that we looked at earlier, I'm going to explain to you step by step how you can create these in Excel. So let's look at the first one. So the first rule we have is that the fast MA needs to be greater than the slow. Then it needs to be above the slow. Then we have an uptrend and it's defined in this if statement as the first logical test. So H3 is greater than G3. Then the next rule, the next, next logical test is that the MA the slow MA needs to be pointing higher. So therefore, the current value needs to be greater than the value in the previous line on the previous day. So that's basically telling you that there is an upward slope in this moving average. In this logical test, we are saying that the open of the previous day needs to be greater than the close of the previous day. So basically we're saying that the yesterday, because now we are operating on this line three. And note that because of this, because we are referring to the previous day, we have to leave the previous day's uh, cell in the J column empty. So now basically we're saying that yesterday was a down day. And the last logical test states that the close in F3, the value in F3, the closing value today needs to be greater than the open value today. So we have an up day, the rule for an up day finishing the, the logical tests. And then we say, with this last bit here, we say to Excel that, yes, if all these rules are true at the same time, then we want one. Otherwise, we want zero. 
and that's how we get the zeros and ones in this column. Next, I want to show you what the returns will be if we systematically hold the trades for 20 days. There'll be losers and there'll be winners, but I want to know what's the total. And I'm going to show you how to do this in Excel. The first long entry signal comes uh, in the cell J11 and 20 rows or 20 days later, we have the first 20 period uh, uh, PL value. I've highlighted these two on, on green so that it's easier for you to spot them. And the formula here is quite simple. So if J11 has a long entry signal, then we want Excel to print the difference between the current closing price and closing price at the time, otherwise we want zero. And this is why we have either PL returns here, positive and negative, but then we have zeros. Then it's easy to calculate how much return we got from all those signals. There were 512 signals and they produced 76 spot 44 dollars. So it took over 500 signals to earn a little bit more than 76 dollars. So that's not great. Obviously, that's not very promising for this system. But the main idea here is to learn how to calculate these in Excel and how to get an idea whether your trading ideas are valid or not. Then I ran the same procedure in these other columns for 15 and then to for eight and five and three day periods and use the very same formula here. Um, the returns weren't that great, but at least we learned how to actually do this in Excel, how to do the calculations, how to get the Excel to answer these questions. Then I ran the same tests in the auto sample data from the year 2007 to the current date. And the results were a little better, but nothing to celebrate yet. So it seems that as a strategy, this still needs a lot of development. And you have to remember that there is, for instance, we don't have any stops in this strategy. So that might improve the results. And that would be something that you might want to study on your own now that you know how to use Excel to, to do this. So I think this is a very handy way of getting to know what's happening with the data when you have a trade idea and then you can start validating and working on it and see if the strategy is something that you need to really focus on or if you have to move on to something else. And it's easy to also test some other markets. So this is now oil data, but you can, once you have this framework in place, you can just uh, paste some other data here. It could be Euro USD, it could be indices data, it could be gold data. So just copy and paste the data into these open, high, low, close columns. And obviously you need the moving averages either from trading view or you need to calculate them yourself in the in Excel. I hope you found this video helpful and informational. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us on support at See you soon on the next video. Take care and trade safe.